In this video, I'll be discussing the Hollywood film Jurassic Park through a cultural lens of gender representation, reproductive technologies, and the consequences of androcentric bias in science. If you're anything like me, then you're pretty excited about the upcoming film Jurassic World. This is the fourth installment of the Jurassic Park franchise, and I thought it'd be fun to take a look back at the movie that started it all. Jurassic Park, based on the novel by the late Michael Crichton, is a Steven Spielberg film. The film was a major blockbuster success, hence why it's still spawning big budget sequels. What is it about Jurassic Park that sets it apart? What does it have that other movies don't? And the answer should be obvious. It has feminism. No, I don't mean it has sexually empowered lady warriors with ridiculous oversized phallic weaponry. I mean it treats men, women, children, and animals with fairness and realism. The best place to start in our examination is with Dr. Ellie Sattler. Ellie has a PhD in paleobotany and is never subordinate to her boyfriend and colleague, Dr. Alan Grant. Unlike Grant, she's not fettered by masculine stereotypes that discourage kindness and sympathy, but while her desire for parenthood has a traditional feminine mentality, she is outspoken and persuasive about it, and she is technically the first visitor to notice the presence of extinct species on the island. Alan, this species of veriform has been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this. Ellie is athletic and active. She runs, climbs, jumps, and grapples with a freaking velociraptor. <laughs> She's never sexualized. It seems strange to praise a movie on what it doesn't do, but the trend in Hollywood is shower scenes and side boob, a uh, cheap, demeaning thrill aimed at male audiences that Jurassic Park never indulges in and proves you don't have to in order to make a hit film. Let's not forget 12-year-old Lex Murphy. Lex is full of personality. She's a vegetarian. She's a hacker. She's a protector of her little brother. And above all, she's a survivor. Sure, she has her faults, her moments of screaming and panic, but don't we all? And she's still a kid. She is portrayed like a real kid. She's not bratty or brash or bossy. She's less of a burden than Tim. After all of that, despite being mocked for her interest in computers, Lex is the one whose skills really save the day. Jurassic Park does not pass the Bechdel test. Now, there are only two females in the cast. Well, this is problematic from a population perspective. It is sadly very realistic. Women have been marginalized in many professions, including academia and science. So, while unfortunate, it's not surpri surprising to find so few women on the island. Still, by failing to include any meaningful interaction between the heroines, Spielberg missed that opportunity to thumb his nose at mainstream Hollywood. I know what you're thinking. It's not the feminism that makes Jurassic Park such a hit. It's the dinosaurs. And that's a fair point. But don't overlook the fact that almost all the dinosaurs are ladies. You know that T-Rex? She should be called T-Regina. This exposes yet another sexist fallacy in science that makes male the default. And what about that badass Machiavellian raptor that took over the pack? An alpha female, a matriarch, a rebel who refuses to stay pinned up by the all-male game wardens. In one scene, Ellie exposes the innate sexism of her colleague's conversation and how the term man is employed to mean both men and humanity as a whole. God creates dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man destroys God. Man creates dinosaurs. Dinosaurs eat man. Woman inherits the earth. Malcolm describes science in masculine and decidedly negative terms, and the whole film works as a metaphor for how the conceit of man is to probe, imprison, and appropriate the generative forces of Mother Nature. Well, what's so great about discovery, it's a violent, penetrative act that scars what it explores, what you call discovery. I call the rape of the natural world. While not dealing with the issue overtly, Jurassic Park raises heavy questions about reproductive rights and technologies. 
the capitalistic scientists of the park are chauvinistically confident in their engineering methods, the overzealous error blows up in their faces. I believe these messages about science and society constitute the appeal and the legacy of the Jurassic Park saga, and I sincerely hope that spirit continues with the next one.